U.S. dairy industry has just completed a comprehensive study of the carbon footprint associated with the production of a gallon of fluid milk. The findings validate results of other studies that have put the associated greenhouse gas emissions of all dairy products at about only 2% of total U.S. emissions. Kimberly Kloss is a dairy producer from California and on the Sustainability Council of the Innovation Center for U.S. Dairy. She explains what the new findings mean for dairy producers. Well, for the dairy industry, basically it sets the record straight of where we are and where our carbon footprint is, because that's the problem. In the past, there's been other numbers that have come forth looking more at a worldwide number or an overall agricultural number, and those numbers have been put upon the U.S. dairy industry, and they were not true. And so today, we actually have set the record straight, and we have a great baseline to work with going forward. For this study, researchers followed the complete life cycle of a gallon of milk, from the farm, through processing, all the way to the consumer. The study involved 500 farms and 50 processing plants from across the United States, as well as more than 210,000 round trips transporting milk from the farm to the processor. From a processing standpoint, the study represented 25% of all fluid milk in the United States. Well, the good news is, is that many of the things we're already doing, that's why we're only at 2%. I mean, we're recycling our water, we're using byproducts in our animal rations, we're using our manure for fertilizer instead of buying commercial fertilizer. And those are just a few. But going forward, we're going to be able to hopefully look at other aspects of our farms. And one of the days, ways we personally are doing that at our farm is we're actually going to have go through an energy audit. And USDA has come forth with funding to help dairy producers have energy audits done on their farm. So if you're a dairy producer, you can actually go down to the local farm service agency and sign up for this. And you can actually find out at your farm the changes that you can make that are going to make economic sense, because that's the key thing. Anything we want to do on our farms, of course, has to make economic sense um, through this energy audit, and it's going to give you a plan going forward. The number found in this study is much different than that previously found in other places, and the reason is largely because the study looks specifically at the U.S. dairy industry. We are extremely innovative, and we change with the times. We change our management practices on our farming operations because we have to do that in order to stay in business. It all makes economic sense to make these changes. And so that's why, one of the big reasons why we're seeing this reduced number compared to what we're looking at at a worldwide level. And I think that's a really a good story for our industry and what we're able to do here in the U.S. in dairy. Conducted by the Innovation Center for U.S. Dairy in conjunction with the University of Arkansas, this study is a significant first step for the U.S. dairy industry in a comprehensive science-based approach to measure and improve the industry's environmental footprint. For Feedstuff's Food Link, I'm Sarah Muirhead. Mm -hmm.